Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brian Norton. Now, okay, I'm not gonna put words into your mouth. I want you to explain to everyone all the things that you do, like right here, right now, and just tell everything. <laughs> <laughs> how to, how to uh, cover up your lack of preparedness. No, <laughs> wait, wait, I've heard about you a lot. Oh, really? I have, oh. yes, and I've heard stories. Well, I am the uh, <laughs> head directing teacher at the New York Film Academy and the chair of the filmmaking program. Okay. It's one of the things I do. I directed a movie called Penny Dreadful two years ago with Betsy Palmer. Some of you might remember as Mrs. Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And uh, let's see, I just wrote a couple of chapters for a new book on slasher movies. They, they let me pick the two. No, 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 the two I wanted were taken. So I got to write a chapter on Halloween 2 and The Burning, which... Oh, okay. Do you remember The Burning? I do remember The Burning. Hedge Clippers, guys! <laughs> this horror, um, uh, I don't want to say fanaticism, even though as I look around <laughs> your apartment... <laughs> cut, to, of, cut to wide shot of room. Yeah, just zoom on up and, and zoom around. And, but, um... Yeah, so you go like way back to when you were a child. Your, your interest was, I, I think it all started when you were not allowed to go to a movie. Something like that. Yeah, it was. Uh, Mom said no. Okay. Yeah, but you know what? You couldn't see, you couldn't see any horror movies that had sex, but violence was okay. <laughs> Don't know. worry, there's no sex or anything bad, I believe, and that's why we're all fucked up now, right? See, it's like TV now. Yeah. Sex bad. Yeah, yeah. Halloween too. I was forbidden to see because there was like a topless scene. So. <gasps> What was the film that you were not allowed to see as a child? Well, I, I think it was it was Friday the Thirteenth, the one Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. But I won some radio contest. We had to be like the Thirteenth caller. I'd like to like say I was cool and just tried once, but I like dialed all weekend and I won. And my mother, <laughs> my mother said absolutely not, but my brother took me anyway. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she learned the tale later, didn't she? Yeah, I, by that time she didn't care. I'm the youngest of nine children, and I'm the youngest by quite a bit, so they were all hippies growing their own pot, and come on, this little old me never got into trouble. Like, <laughs> I snuck into Friday the 13th Part 2, I think she'll survive. <laughs> and nine children? My yeah, that God. must have hurt, right? <laughs> Apparently I just <laughs> fell out. <laughs> <laughs> what did Joan ever say? Look who's here on a leash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David? Did you hear that? Do you know anything about the people that lived here before? But remember that spirits can't hurt you. Are you sure about that? Penny Dreadful. Love Penny Dreadful. I've heard the stories. I mean, I can't play dumb. I've heard the stories. <laughs> like they're floating out there. It, no, but I mean, I've, I've heard like how it was like this intensely, incredibly difficult shoot and you shot like... I know. Apparently I bitched on the commentary way too much. I was still fuming mad because I had a really bad DP who was... Uh, we realized probably the second day we were going to have to replace him because he was too slow and very arrogant. Nine months later, we got three days of a, a new DP who was great, who unfortunately had to match all the other guys' stuff. So, okay. Well, there was a lot of downtime in between those, so I spent <laughs> my time trying to, I knew that we were going to miss, we were, we were missing fall, so I, you, you probably read it somewhere that I, I was gluing leaves onto yeah, thousands leaves of leaves so we could put them into shots, but I needed something to do, right? Right, so, <laughs> exactly. What else is there to do? Yeah. One of your idols is in this film. Yeah. Yeah, and how'd you get, how'd you get checked? I called her. I just, how it happens? Yeah, I called her. Oh. <laughs> Went up there and she invited me for tea and pot, which I said no to. No, she's a big stoner. <laughs> she doesn't care if you know. I mean, I love Betsy, and I've even told this story to her face, but we're doing this kind of complicated shot in a very long lens, and focus was going to be critical, and we're doing a dolly shot that has her face in the foreground and the girl in the background. We have to rack focus. And um, uh, where, where was I going with this? So it took us a, a couple of times to rehearse it. And then I said, OK, all right, good, let's shoot it. And she says, what? We're not done? <laughs> and I said, no, now we're going to shoot it. And then she says, when I did Mr. Roberts with John Ford, we'd spend two weeks on a shot. Which just doesn't. It totally just. No. floated on what she said. No, but the funniest story I have, if you're, the scene I think you're talking about where she's supposed to come and investigate the house 
and she comes into this room, and it's, it's not this way in the script. She's supposed to come into this room and, and think and say, you know, sorry, this house isn't haunted. Because at the end of the movie, you find out the house isn't haunted. Well, Betsy comes in and she says, "This, this is what I'm going to do." She's gonna, she's gonna come in. She goes, and she's gonna do this big spasm. And she like showed it to me, and she almost fell over. And I said, "Well, why are you gonna do the big spasm?" She says, "Because I'm scared." I said, I'm "Scared of what? This of the ghosts?" House. And I said, "But, but Betsy, there's no, there's no ghosts." She's like, "That's not in my script." And um, we were going like this. Is my AD in the background. She's like, not just, just let her do it. Just let her do it. And it's like everyone's fucking favorite part is when she, you know, and it makes no sense. Right. Like, good luck editing this. That's what they all say, but we always do. All right, Brian, thank you much. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you too. Shaking hands with him. My hands are still cold. And they're kind of okay. wet too. <laughs> yeah, I just had them in my. Never mind. Um. Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> What was your first real experience? Because I, I think, because you're admittedly, you know, like a... Uh, Sexual experience? Uh, yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. We are on the couch. So. It was about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I was talking about <laughs> Jaws 2. <laughs> I, was, I thought it was good for you. Most of my posters are based not on the actual movie, but they're based on how awesome the poster is. But do you notice on Revenge of the Creature, whoever drew the crowd started to get really lazy. You recognize Betty Davis from All About Eve right here. Oh, right? My, you do. With, with one leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with one leg. Yeah, with one leg. With other leg. And there's also uh, J uh, James Dean is in there. So he's on with a tie on the left of her. He's like the, the laziest person <laughs> ever. Everyone is someone else. We can we can reenact a scene from Chopping Mall. Better that we won't get. It's a lot of sex in Chopping Mall, actually. We can reenact the scene from Chopping. Mall. Oh! <laughs>